Okay, hey, I'm going to make a video here sh uh, demonstrating the uh, compass redundancy feature on N3 Pro. We'll see how this works. So I got the copter all booted up. Um, everything's normal. You can ignore firmware upgrade. That's uh, related to my X5 that I can't actually upgrade. Long story there. Okay. Um, let's go in here. Redundancy state. So as you can see, it's set to priority on the extended IMU. Um, and they're both normal. The extended IMU, of course, is the A3s. Right. And so you can see over here, we get, well, it's kind of hard to see that, but those are blue blinks from the N3 compass, which means it's on, but it's just, um, it's not, it, it's a backup right now. And the A3 is blinking green which means it's the one actually being used, and it's the same for the IMUs. So the extended um, A3 sensors are the ones that are actually in use. So what we're going to do is go into here. All right. This is the sensor screen, and it gives you the actual status of the compasses. So you can see it's currently using Compass 1, um, but both of them have uh, I guess no interference. They're, they're, the bars are on excellent. Uh, I'll be honest, I have no idea which one Compass 1 is and which one Compass 2 is. It would be nice if it said, you know, A3, whatever, uh, but it doesn't. And the bottom line is they're both good right now. So I have a magnet here, and this is a pretty strong magnet, as you can see. And what I'm going to do, sorry for the camera that's about to shake, so I'm going to take this magnet, I'm going to place it kind of near the GPS and see what happens on this screen. Alright, so that's how close I got. Sorry, I moved my hand. I'm about 8 inches away from the A3. You can see it's going ballistic. Both of them say abnormal. If I move it away it goes back to normal. And here's the thing. Focus. Alright. Even if I put it close to the N3 compass, it seems to be interfering with both. And I can't see it at any point actually switch from one to the other. So... Yeah, as soon as I interfere with one, it seems to interfere with both. I'm not sure how scientific this is. I mean, um, but at no point did it ever switch from one to the other, and I interfered with both. I'm just not sure if this thing's actually redundant. Uh, again, like I said, I don't know how scientific this test is, or if I actually proved anything, or just confused people and myself more. does seem to have switched to the N3 now. And it's not using... Wait, let me see. What's it doing? Yeah, so um, blue blinks over here and green blinks over here. And yeah, same thing on the IMU. So it does seem to have switched. Although, the app does not reflect that. The in-use little dot is still next to Compass 1. So, maybe it is working and it's just the app interface? Let's see here. We go into redundancy state, it'll generate you a little report. Alright, so here's what it said. System requesting permission to switch from extended IMU to inner IMU. Okay. Compass 1, data exception, data exception. Okay, so it definitely did something. And it has switched. These are green now. Over here. And it's blue over here. It's getting mad because I'm blocking the sky view. Um, so, I guess it does work in that sense. So I guess this here, under sensors for compass, I guess that's just a bug in the app. That should be switched. 
to in use on two because we did switch. I don't know which one's one. I don't know which one's two, but according to the status LEDs on the actual compass GPS units, it did switch from one to the other. So that's good, I guess. All right, well, that's it for now.